water, water, water. It never seems like I'm drinking enough, but water is the true source of my hair's quality and I just need to drink more of it. Which I thought I did, but no, you're never drinking enough water. Listen, babe. Healthy hair can't be found at the end of a bottle. It just can't. I wanna tell you things. Ingredients matter. Uh, you need to find out what works for you and then find out what doesn't work for you and make sure that what you're using is consistent with what your hair likes. I never know what to say. Trust your instincts and you know what you believe you should do with your hair because there's really no sense of returning back to your natural hair and still giving someone um, all of the responsibility to maintain your hair. You need to be the champion in your hair's quality, um, its growth, its uh, evolution. Before anyone can shout out how much they love it because you should love it first. Know when you should seek professional help. I know that you can do a lot of things and you know YouTube is a great platform to show you how to do those things but I think that there has to be a balance of the things that you do yourself and then the things that you allow someone else to do. There are some things that I will allow trusted, uh, respected, renowned uh, stylists to do and um, you just gotta know when to not do it yourself. When you're deep conditioning, don't be afraid to add heat. Uh, heat actually helps penetrate that conditioner all the way through your hair. Nobody is above being wrong about hair maintenance. Just remember that. Anybody that you follow, anybody that you like, anybody that, anybody. No one is above being wrong. No need to take off your Styles don't have to be complicated. Learn how to style in 30 minutes and then you'll be doing something. Usually you could stay. As you can see, I didn't learn too much in September because I was too busy getting ready for all of the newness on the website. So I didn't learn anything. Shame. For the month of October, I learned that I needed breaks and I didn't need to always be doing something with my hair. My hair growth can't be seen in inches. So my last lesson of 2012 came from uh, my interview with Dr. Carrie Williams when she stated, uh, leaving your products on longer will not give you better results. Um, and that one hit hard for me because I swear I leave stuff on. And it's not even products, you know, I mean, I'm leaving oils on for a day or two and things of that nature, conditioner, co-washing, 24 hours. Um, you really don't have to. Leaving things on longer is not going to result in a different outcome. And sometimes you may even uh, agitate and cause a hair issue with your scalp, with your skin, with your hair, just because you don't know how to follow directions. So that's the big one, that um, following directions when it comes to these hair products and, and making sure that you are the number one champion of your hair's quality, growth, and progression. So for those of you who don't know that I'm moving, I am moving back to the East Coast. So I'm very excited. I will be the first one to tell you about my first workshops in the area. I'm trying to go to New York, North Carolina, uh, Atlanta, uh, of course, D.C., Maryland, and, and Virginia, South Carolina, uh, you know, Jersey, Philly. Um, yeah, New York. I've said that one. Yeah. Mm hmm. All of those. If you just look at the East Coast and just take it from the top to the bottom, I'm trying to hit all of those. And then like two to three states out to the left, I'm trying to hit those too. Um, so, 
let's walk into 2013. It's still hard to say or believe that we are um, coming up on another year. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Oh, you may be wondering why I was changing the background so much. I am actually, of course, I shoot in my house. And I figured I'm about to rent my house out. And it will no longer be mine. And as sad as I am about it, um, I want to remember my house as it was to me. And I thought the best way to do that was to do a video where I was in every room of the house. Texas has been good to me. I appreciate every single person that lives in the state of Texas. It's a huge state, but that lives in the state of Texas and that follows the channel and follows the website and follows the butterfly movement and follows me and all of those things. I, I want to thank you.